Hi, I'm Dan, and today we're going to show you how to properly demonstrate grill and oven clean, better known as GOK. As with any job, the first step is to gather the right tools and supplies to do the job properly. In this task, you're going to need a spatula, scouring pad, a clear container of water, vinegar, an 8 ounce sample of GOK, safety glasses, and a clean damp terry cloth. You may also want an apron and high temperature gloves for this job. If you need assistance in gathering these items, please ask your supervisor or manager. Let's begin. This whole process will be easier to be done while the grill is hot. Let's set the temperature to 250 degrees. To start, use the spatula to scrape off the heavy food degree off the top of the grill. Next, we're going to pour three to four ounces of GOK in a six to ten inch square area. Use a spatula or scouring pad to spread the product evenly around. Allow GOK to sit on the surface for 10 to 20 seconds. During this time period, you'll see the bubbling action of GOK that's emulsifying the grease. This is a good time to explain to the customer how the emulsification process is working. After the emulsification process is finished, use your spatula or scouring pad to remove the grease laden liquid. Take clean water, pour on the surface area. Use your damp terry cloth and use a spatula to clean the surface area. Once you have cleaned the top of the grill, go back and clean out the trough for all the grease and residue that's left in it. Use a clean cloth to wipe it out. Now we'll use vinegar. We pour on the stainless steel to neutralize the residual alkalinity. And it brings an added shine to the stainless steel. Once you're finished, pour a little bit of vegetable oil on the grill. Coat the entire grill with it. This will keep the stainless steel from rusting and keeps the food from sticking next time they cook on it. 
and that's all there is to it. Have a great day.